Welcome to Math Window, which is greater two to the power of thirty-one or three to the power of twenty-one. Hmm, how one of the question is, and how should we solve it? By using which method? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Our first step is always inspection. By inspection, the bases are different, and exponents. Also have different values, so what you do. Of course, there is a little secret that you should notice. What is it? Of course, that is this one. The last digits of the exponents have the same value, that is one. So what can we do about it? Of course. We can write this thirty-one as thirty plus one, and twenty-one as twenty plus one. So that is a good choice, isn't it? As a first step, transformation. I'm going to transformate this two power thirty-one as two power thirty then plus one. This three to power twenty-one as three to power twenty plus one, and then by using a formula. We can solve this question successfully. Firstly, two to the power of thirty-one. It can be written as two to the power of thirty, and then plus one. Of course, thirty-one is only thirty plus one. Three to the power of twenty-one. It can be written as three to the power of Twenty, and then plus one. The transformation is done, and then I'm going to use this formula. This, look, they have the same form. Something to power of something plus something. The exponents have the same form, that is addition. Then I'm going to use this formula. A to power of m. Plus n, it is only equal to a to the power of m, and then times a to the power of n. So then, two to the power of thirty then plus one, it can be written as two to the power of thirty, and then times two to the power of one. By using this formula, two is a, thirty is m, and one is n. For a second thing, three is a, twenty is m, and one is n. So this three to the power of twenty, and then times three to the power of one. And then what should do? Of course, inspection again. Two to the power of one is only two. Hmm, nothing interesting. Three to the power of one, three, nothing valuable. However, the only thing which is valuable is here. This zero from the exponents. Thirty, twenty. Thirty is only equal to three times ten, and twenty can be written as two times ten. So that is it. So then, two power thirty. It is two to the power of three times ten. Here times two, since two to the power of one is equal to two. Three to the power of twenty it is three to the power of two times ten, and then times three. So then what should we do? This multiplication from the exponents. I don't like them. What should we do? Of course, I can use another formula. A to the power of m, then times n. Is equal to a to the power of m, and then a to the power of n. Of course, it is also equal to a to the power of n first, and then a to the power of m. Look, two to the power of three times ten. Two is a. Three is m. Ten is n. So n is equal to 
a to the power of m and then all to the power of n. So it is 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of 10 and then times 2. Here, 3 is a, 2 is m, 10 is n. Substitute into this formula. And then you can get it is equal to a to the power of m and then all to the power of n. Here, and then times 3, of course. Now, what should we do? Of course, we have succeeded. Almost. 10. 10. There are the exponents. Now, our work is to evaluate these two bases. Of course, it is very easy, isn't it? 2 to the power of 3. It is 2 times 2, then times 2. It is 8. 8 to the power of 10, and then times 2. 3 to the power of 2. It is 3 times 3. It is 9. So it is 9, then to the power of 10, and then times 3. So that's it. And then what should you do? Compare 8 to the power of 10 times 2 with 9 to the power of 10 times 3, which is larger. We all know that 9 is, of course, greater than 8. So, write it here. 9 is greater than 8. If 9 is greater than 8, we can raise the both in size to the power of 10. So we can get 9 to the power of 10 is also greater than 8. 8 to the power of 10. We also know that 3 is greater than 2. Hmm. So, our first inequality, our second inequality. The first one can be multiplied by the second one. And then, since they are all positive, then we can get that 9 to the power of 10 times 3. is greater than 8 to the power of 10 times 2. This is this. The left hand side is this one, and the right hand side is this one. You can also compare them directly. Since 9 is greater than 8, so 9 to the power of 10 is greater than 8 to the power of 10. And 3 is greater than 2, so greater times greater is greater. So we can get that 9 to the power of 10 times 3, it is greater than 8 to the power of 10, then times 2. And we know that 9 to the power of 10 times 3 is 3 to the power of 21, the right hand side. 8 to the power of 10, then times 2, it is 2 to the power of 31, the left hand side. So then, what can we get? We can get that the right hand side is much, much bigger than the left hand side. We can get that 3 to the power of 21 is greater than 2 to the power of 31. What a surprising answer. Although the exponent from the right hand side is much smaller, it has the bigger value. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!